Okay, so Bruno, so what two equations should we write next for our physics project? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I think we should write the universal law of gravity. Because does Newton's law apply to the entire universe? No, only Einstein's field equations do. Do you think Einstein's field equations would exist without Newton's laws? They were debating between Newton's universal law of gravitation and Einstein's field equations. Only one of those equations is going to be our next equation on our front lawn. So let's see which one it's going to be. I personally think it should be the universal law of gravity. Of course not. It should be Einstein's field equations. Really? Why? Simple. Einstein's field equations have incredible universality. It can be applied to any situation in the universe, unlike Newton's law of gravity. Any situation? Any situation with the asterisk of the singularity of a black hole. All right, but the thing is, uh, when you uh, when you really look at the basis of Einstein's field equation, it's just Newton's law of gravity because it's basically uh, our foundation for uh, gravity. And for something invented in the 1700s, it works extraordinarily well with things that are not at high speed. You know what? I think you're you're absolutely right. Maybe we should write down both. Newton's universal law of gravitation and Einstein's field equations. So with that being said, can you tell me a little bit about what Newton's universal law of gravity says? Well, Newton's universal la uh, law of gravity, not universal gravity. Newton's universal law of gravity says the force, uh, the attractive force of gravity between two objects is proportional with the proportionality be a constant being z to the product of two masses uh, that we're looking at divided by the distance between their center squared. I don't see any time being incorporated in it, for example. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't take into account that information can only travel at a finite speed. And what is that speed? The speed of light. Exactly. So there, therein lies the weakness of Newton's law. Now, do you want to ask me a little bit about Einstein's uh, field equations? Yeah, why does Einstein's field equation not work in a singularity? Well, first let me tell you what Einstein's field equation is. It's a single one-inch equation written by a young Swiss patent clerk in 1915. So and here is the equation. R menu plus one half R G menu plus the cosmological constant times G menu is equal to eight pi G over C to the four T menu. That's it. That doesn't seem like a one inch equation to me. It does sound like a one inch equation to me. Do you have any questions about it? For such a long equation, what could it even mean? All it says is that matter tells space time how to bend and space time tells matter how to move. Okay, but how does that relate to gravity? Well, it's simple. All matter has a gravitational field associated with it. And if that gravitational field is sufficient to curve space-time, well, it creates a bend in the space-time fabric. All right, that's a pretty good reason. Now, can you tell me why it doesn't work in a singularity? Sure. Einstein's uh, field equations approach infinity when you apply them to the center of a black hole or the beginning of the universe, the Big Bang. But I thought calculus, and he used tensor calculus to derive these equations, was a subject specially made for dealing with really big things and really small things, no? That's absolutely right, but you can't prevent the infinities that prop up in general relativity. And that's why the renormalization technique was invented, uh, to, to cr clamp down on those infinities and divergent quantities. Then why don't we have a complete theory of gravity yet? Why does it still not work? Well, one of the big holes that uh, physicists are still looking into is, um, is can gravity be unified with quantum theory? Right now, the state of no, the art... I'm talking about, like, the theory of gravity itself. Oh, the theory of gravity is, um, is the only hole in it is that the, it cannot be quantized. And, okay, are you okay? Uh, it cannot be quantized. That means that we can't merge it together with quantum mechanics. And the reason that's a problem is because if gra gravity makes completely accurate predictions, quantum field theory makes completely accurate predictions, but if they're uh, the same, if there are two theories that are part of the same universal uh, unified field theory, then they should be two sides of the same coin, but they don't seem to merge together.